In this video, I'll show you how the iCity add-on works and how you can generate cities procedurally in Blender. Once you have purchased the add-on, you just install the zip file and go into the side panel and click start. And then we have the buildings and we can start editing the procedural setup. Okay, so uh, let's start off by going into edit mode and then we can go into edge selection and select one of the edges, then press G, then Y for example to expand it on the y-axis and then control R to add a loop cut, which adds a road in the middle. We can also extrude the edges. So E then X, for example, as you can see, we are generating entirely new buildings on the side as well. The add-on also gives you the option to change the smaller details as well. So let's select the road edge and go into the road settings. And if you want to add some trees, for example, you can just assign the trees and you can also change the spacing of the trees. And you can uh, add a bunch of other details like benches, traffic lights, signs, cars, textures and imperfections. As for rendering, I prefer cycles and I use the CPU so that the GPU does not run out of memory when you're rendering. And then I'm also going to add a background image just to add some realistic lighting as well. I will leave a link to a bunch of free background images in the description as well, and also make the background transparent. And this is what the default textures look like. And if you want to make the buildings taller, you can just do that in the city settings. And if you want to add some special buildings, you can also do that. So uh, I'm going to show you how to add one of the special buildings. So let's go into city. And then go into edit mode, face select, and then let's select this skyscraper, for example, and then assign. And then we can just edit setup so that we can fit the skyscraper inside of our city. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this is enough for you guys to be able to use the add-on. And uh, for the rendering, I also like to add a sun at the end to make it look a bit better. So you can press R twice to rotate freely, and then set the strength to around five and get this result.